Are you looking for a way to live stream your service with a camera rather than a phone? I got you covered. Stay tuned. So here lately I've been doing some live streaming and people have been asking me, how do you do this? How do you go about setting it up? Is it hard? Is it difficult? I've been live streaming with a phone, but I don't want to go with the phone anymore. I want to, I want to use a camera. I want to have a whole presentation system. What can I do? How do I get that working? Is it difficult, easy, whatever? So I'm going to show you how I do it. I do it a very simple, easy way. There's, there's better ways to do it. There's ways that require more equipment, but I don't have a lot of money to buy all that special equipment. I'm doing this for free. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm using a, uh, a Canon M50. That's what's filming me right now. Uh, but today I'm going to show you with a Canon T5i. Uh, this should work with any other camera as well. Uh, but this is what I'm going to be showing it with uh, today. The setup itself is pretty, it looks kind of large, but it's really, really not. Uh, so I have a uh, computer here. This is my main screen that I use to actually control everything. Uh, this screen over here on the left, this is what would be the uh, the, the projector screen. It's the, the screen that's going to be throwing up words that I can then lay on top of my live st uh, stream video. And this over here is actually what's controlling the broadcasting uh, software that sends it to uh, uh, Facebook or YouTube or Twitch or wherever you want to go. Uh, this one is not necessary, but it is uh, highly recommended to have a third monitor. These are old computer monitors that I've scrounged around and found, and I just got them hooked up with uh, HDMI uh, to VGA uh, adapters, and this is a USB to VGA adapter. That way I can get uh, this multiple setup. So first thing, you got to hook up the camera. That's where the cables come in. Some cables or some cameras can go uh, with you know Bluetooth or wireless or connect to your, to your Wi-Fi, but uh, not this one. So you got to use HDMI cable hookup. So I have an HDMI cable hookup. I'm going to hook this up and then we'll jump over here. Let's go. All right. So we have the camera, HDMI cable plugged into it, and that's into the computer. But before we can get the video off of the camera and onto the computer to be sent to the broadcasting software that then goes to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, or wherever, you're going to have to have some additional software to pull the video off of here. So it doesn't normally just do it as soon as you plug it in, you have to have some stuff. So because I'm using Canon, I'm using the Canon EOS utility. If you don't have it, then you can go to Canon's website, search utility. I just Googled Canon utility and it's gonna pop up uh, this screen right here. And then you can just scroll through the, all the camera models and pick the one that you have, download that and install it. Now, as soon as you Turn on the camera once it's plugged in. It will pop up automatically. And from, from here, what we need to do is click remote shooting. And then the next window, you're going to choose live view shoot. And there we go. We got our live view. Now, obviously, you can see how there are these grid marks on there. So down here at the bottom, little button right here. The focus points, you can turn that off. That way uh, you can show the live feed without showing where your focusing uh, grid is. Now, I'm just going to set this right here. We'll zoom in on something nice. There we go. How about that? Nice road camera in the background. You need to know that at this point, my camera is not recording. Uh, I don't even have a, a SD card in the camera, but it's still sending that feed to the... Um, to my, cam uh, my computer, so we're, we're good. So from here, this window has to stay up. Now it can be in the background, but you can't minimize it because we're about to send this feed over to OBS, uh, which is a, the broadcasting software that we're gonna use. Uh, so you need to download, if you haven't already, download OBS. So again, we can go to obsproject.com and then download the, uh, the version that is for your system. Whatever one you need to get. So I already have this open because I'm recording all this with the screen recorder within OBS. I'm gonna drag this. This is why I have that third monitor that's over here on the right side because that's where this is running. Right. So you can see here uh, on the, the right side, this is what is being recorded. So uh, what I wanna do now is 
we need to add that video feed from our camera to OBS. So this is probably, I'd say, the hardest part about setting up this live stream uh, with a camera. So if you look over here on the left side, you'll see where it says scenes. I like to think of scenes as a schedule. So if you're used to any type of uh, pr presentation software such as ProPresenter or Easy Worship, which is what we're going to be using today. I know it's not as popular, but that's what we have. Um, it, it's, you, you should be familiar with the schedule then. It's just a flow of events, what's going to happen. Uh, so you can build the scenes over here. You're just going to name it, and then within each schedule, you're going to actually put in what you want. So I'm going to build uh, one that I want for when the guy is, is, is playing the music. I want to show the guitarist. He's singing. He's leading the music. Uh, so I want to get that feed on there. So down here on the bottom right, I want to put plus, and I'm going to call this uh, music, okay? Because that's what we're going to be, that's what I want to show. So I'll click here at OK. So over here on the right side, we have our sources window. And from our sources window, we need to actually add here in this spot the video feed from our Canon camera or whatever type of camera you have. So I'm going to click this plus sign. And I'm going to come down here to uh, window capture. Now this is going to allow me to select a certain window. And the window that we're using is the Canon EOS utility software. So click window capture. This is coming from my uh, Canon camera. So I'll just call it Canon camera. Click OK. And then here is where you can select where it's coming from. It's the remote live view window that we want. Remember that's the one we opened up that's got our feed. You can see here it's also showing everything else that's on there. Well we don't want all of this stuff over here. Well we can fix that in a minute but right now this is what we want. So I'm going to hit OK. And now within this, here I'm going to switch off of studio mode. Now I'm, see it's still showing the scene for my main monitor but I want it in the music. So I'm going to click music so this is what we have. Now we see that we can resize this window to match what's being sent to Facebook or wherever. So, but I, I still, I don't want all this other junk on the side. So what you do is you hold down Alt and you can drag and resize. Now I know this is a crude way of doing it. Like I said, there's better ways of doing this, but this is the free easy way of doing it. So I'm just gonna resize this to show only what the camera's seeing. And once I do that, then I can resize this to fit here. So once we have that, uh, now we have our video feed that can be sent to OBS um, or it's in OBS and that can be sent out to Facebook or wherever we're live streaming to. All right, now I want to get the words that we're doing on top of the screen here. Like how do I, how do I have words? Like I, I can see my guy uh, playing the guitar and he's singing, but I don't know the words. So I, I need to be able to see those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back down here to sources because I want to add to this. So I'm going to click add source. And uh, again, I'm going to do this time display capture. So because I'm broadcasting or I'm uh, projecting my, my words to this computer right here, this monitor right here to my left. That's, that's my projector. That's where the video uh, or, or slides or wherever is being sent from my presentation system, Easy Worship, Pro Presenter, wherever. So uh, I'm, I'm going to call this uh, Easy Worship uh, Presentation. But this is coming from not this primary monitor, but it's coming from display number two which I'm not presenting anything yet. I just have my logo up. Uh, so I'm going to end up getting that feed into here. So I'm going to hit OK because that's where it's going to be coming from. Um, so before I fix any of this, so you can see that if it's just, just like that, I mean, it, it's actually covering. Oh, I don't want that. So uh, I'm drag this off for a second. I'm going to go into Easy Worship. So here's Easy Worship opened up. This right here is what would be projected to the screen for people to, to sing along with. This is what is now being projected onto my secondary monitor over here. Uh, and so this right here is what I want to overlay on top of the, 
the singing, but you can't you can't just put this on there because I'll I'll show you when I come back over here to OBS. And I click on my music tab again. Notice that it's covering it's covering it up. Like I don't I don't want all this background. I only want the words. Uh, so what you'll have to do from there is change the background to not be all that craziness. No. No moving waterfalls or, or swaying wheat fields or anything like that. We need to actually have just a plain black background. Uh, so I've set it a theme up in, in here. There's different ways you do this uh, depending on whatever your software is. So I got it to where I can change the background to black. So now when I open this up, I have a black background and I also have it to where it drops down into a lower third. That way it's just kind of slightly below the person's face. Uh, and then I would also go through here and edit it to where there's only like two or three lines per slide instead of this many. So uh, here's one that I've already done, so I'm just gonna use it. Now again, if I go back to, I'm looking at OBS again, and what would be projected, it's still covering the person's face. Like I, again, I, I don't want the black, I wanna see the person back there behind it. So what we need to do is we need to key out this black. So think green screen, but it's, it's black in this case. So in order to get rid of the black, what we do is we click, right click on Easy Worship Presentation, click Filters, resize my window here, and then you can click the plus sign down the bottom left, Add Color Key. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave it named Color Key. Uh, so it, it has green set right now for like green screen, but I wanna change this to black because that's what my background is. So I'm gonna choose custom color, select color, black. And now, notice all that black background goes away and all that's left are the words on top of the person singing. So you can drag this around and put it wherever you want. Now, some other stuff that you can do that I found is really cool is that I have, um, before the person gets up there to sing, we might be moving some stuff around so I don't want to have, uh, I, I don't want people to be seeing us moving the, the camera around to move the, uh, com the guitars around. So I have it set up to where it shows just a, a certain image of what's coming up prior to this. So I'm gonna come back over here to scenes and I'm gonna add, uh, I'm just gonna call it music transition. And I'm gonna drag it above music. So there's nothing in there right now, uh, but I wanted to show who's about to start singing. So music transition, I'm gonna come over here to add, but this time I'm gonna uh, choose image because it's just a picture. Image and I'm gonna choose uh, um, Colton transition, just so that I know what it is. I'm gonna browse and search that. Here he is, add it in. There's what I'm putting in. Now notice it's too big, like it, it, it doesn't cover, uh, show the whole thing. So again, just resize it to however big you want it to be. Boom. So this is showing, call to worship. Colton Wicks is coming up. And then when I'm ready to actually go live with that person, uh, I'll click this, but the way we do that when we're actually presenting is we uh, use the studio mode. So I, I'm showing over here on the right side, this is what's being presented. On the left side, this is what's uh, is coming up next in our schedule. So I want the music to be next in the schedule. So when it's time to actually send that over uh, to, go to the live feed, I just click transition then it shoots that over. Uh, and then I'll, I'll make several of these upcomings or what's next, you know, just to show, just to kind of give space to where if I need to cut away and don't want the live stuff showing, I'll have something I can go back to. Now, uh, you'll notice down here that I have this audio signal. This is just the mic that's picking up from the built-in of the, uh, the computer. But I run all my audio through a, a mixer amp and then, just a uh, little auxiliary cord that, that goes into the computer itself. 
and that's where I get my, my audio from. And to add audio source, because you got to have that too, that way you have good audio. You don't, you know, with a phone or something like that, or just using the, the built-in mic from the camera, it's not good. So if you have an audio source that you can plug into it, it's going to be better. So, um, so I'm going to go back to music, because I want good audio. So I'm going to click Add Audio Input Capture. And let's say mixer amp or whatever it's called. Uh, click OK. I'm gonna find it, and then uh, then that's in. And then you can adjust adjust it over here. So once you find it, turn it up, turn it down. Now, if you have any audio sources in any of these pre-service slides, you're gonna want to mute those. That way, no audio is getting sent to the live feed until you actually click on your scene that is showing the, uh, the, the guitarist or musician, whoever, or, or the person speaking, the preacher or whoever. Okay. Now, the final question is, how do I get this to Facebook? Okay, Because I'm, I'm showing all the broadcasting stuff, but how do we get this to Facebook? So we'll come here to Facebook, and it's from here that we're going to get our live stream key that we're going to end up plugging back into uh, OBS. Just click on live. All right, so within the stream setup, we want to use the stream key because we, we're running it into OBS. So right here, the stream key, you'll just click copy. And once you have the stream key over here in OBS, We'll come down to settings. We'll go to stream. We're doing this to Facebook. So service is Facebook Live. And then the stream key, we'll just copy and paste that right in there. Now, I'm not going to actually go live with this. But once, once you have that uh, stream key in there, all you do is you go to the slide that you want, that you're ready to present from, and then just click start streaming. Now, once you click start streaming, it's going to send that feed to Facebook. But over here, see with that go live button, it's grayed out. Well, if I actually put that stream key in and then click start streaming, that video is going to show up right here. And then as soon as I click go live, that's when it's going to send it out to the public or whoever else you have set up to be able to view it. And that is, that's it. That's, that's the gist of how to do a, a live feed stream to Facebook, YouTube, or whatever using a DSLR camera, um, some presentation system, how to get the words on there. So that's, that's it. And like, I know there's probably some things that I didn't cover, or didn't mention. So if you have any questions, just let me know and uh, I'll try to get back with you on that. All right, we'll see you.